Yellow snow here. All you guys need for Unreal Engine to work with 2D sprites in a really good way is just Paper ZD. What this does is it handles the animations of all your characters. The other plugin you'll need is Paper 2D, which actually that comes default. So if you open up any Unreal Engine project and you just go to plugins, you just type in Paper 2D and that's here. So you just need these two, Paper 2D, Paper ZD. Paper ZD handles the animations, sprites, tile maps, all that good stuff. And this comes default with the engine. Uh, Paper ZD is completely free and so you can just get started, start playing around with it. You can review my tutorial videos if you like. Hopefully I'll have more coming out where it's super fast, super easy, and it just goes over everything you need so you can get started. Each month they give away free assets and some of them are blueprints so you can um, so like this is a quest editor for the month of September multiplayer combat and then there's assets so like a safe house and in here you get really high quality assets with high quality textures as well as just blueprints to get started and if you collect it every month you just have so many assets ready to go whenever you need it and I have a whole tutorial series on um how to get started with 2D and I'm actually going to remake it and make it better but so far it's really easy to make 2D games. All this is is a 2D game in 3D space and it's similar to Unity where you have the option to toggle 2D and 3D stuff so you can have the Y sorting, it works and you can also have layers not Y sorting but you can just have it in front kind of like how Hollow Knight does it where it's layered so when you're in perspective mode you can kind of see the border here moving back and forth it's really nice i use a plugin called narrative all of the dialogue is held into these blueprints and um, you can set the conversations here at any time you can throw in a 3d object so it really is it's it's not one or the other like you're creating 2d objects in a 3d plane and it works the same it's just sometimes like if you're doing a top dog game you'll just have to keep the axis in mind and next episode we're gonna go over how to get started with a uh, top down game and i'll show you guys how to get everything working basic setup and all that